Portland's historic The Black Lady Theater is now taking bookings. Host your next birthday party, concert, networking event, baby or bridal shower, wedding, art show, gala, corporate event, live stage play, audition, and so much more at the one and only The Black Lady Theater. Mention code GODCAST for 15% off your rental fee. Code good for the first time customers only. Valid for a limited time. Call 718-771-0900 to book your event today. Peace. Today is Friday, September 6th. Make it today's math. Equality. That's right. Equality is to deal equal in all forms of knowledge. Deal in equality with your human family. Godcast and Lord Jamal. Ah, digga, digga. God free. We got our guest Supreme Understanding in the house, writer, publisher, uh, hustler, winner. <laughs> <laughs> How you got? I'm great, man. I'm great. It's a beautiful vibe here. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, shit. Great to have you, God. Uh, we got books in the house, man. We, we got, got a whole library on the show. I stashed a few of them in my bag. I, yeah, they get gifts, yeah, man. I we got gifts. Too, yeah, I'll, I'll put them back up here just to show okay, them off. Yeah, but they're yours. Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, listen, before we continue, make sure you subscribe to the show. You click the, uh, the bell so you get subscriptions. Also, to donate to the show, go to cash.me slash dollar sign. You're not a mean. Patreon.com slash you're not a mean. Or you're not a mean.com slash support. Bounty.com slash you're not a mean. We appreciate all that you do. Thank you. Um, right on. So, yeah, we, we were talking with the God, and, you know, he, he writes his own book. He publishes his own book. I like this one, The Hood, Hood Health. Health Handbook, A Practical Guide to Health and Wellness in the Urban Community. Right. Right, because we sick. <laughs> like stay away from the Popeye's chicken. You, we now nah, we was even for people to eat like that. Like yo, you gotta you know maybe you need to get some salad with it. You feel know I me? Mean? Just, right. just just balance it out. Like because people gonna want chicken, man. I feel like we made the chicken. Think about it. Who else but original people gonna make a bird that can't get away? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we did that thousands of years ago. We did that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and figured out how to fry them and all that. Like but nowadays the chicken ain't the same. It ain't even got no legs. Right. You know what I mean? You don't know where these people are getting these chickens from, but they can sell it to you for two dollars. Come on now. What I understand they took the beaks off and all that. Right. Kind of it's shit. scary. It's like a monster. Injecting the hormones. Oh, yeah, well the ho- the hormones in the chicken and the meat is, you know, contributes a lot to fibroids in, in women. It's, it says this book covers losing weight without dieting, exercising without equipment, sex ed, beginners and advanced. Eliminating toxins from your home. Yeah. How to have a healthy pregnancy. Preventing diabetes slash cancer in children. Treating ADHD and dyslexia. Um, Beating drug and alcohol addiction, which is something we're going to talk about in a minute. Mm -hmm. Uh, Speaking of drug and alcohol addiction. um, Weed, caffeine, and junk food. Understanding mental disorders. Beating depression and bipolar. (laughs) Managing stress, anxiety, and emotions. Traditional versus Western medicine. Natural beauty tips that work. Tattoos, piercings, and cosmetic surgery. First aid and survival tactics. Starting an urban garden. Nice. You know what? We just talked uh, last week. I was talking about I had proposed that, you know, maybe we can... like we as a people could just take on initiative to just go outside and just 
clean the trash up off the ground in the urban areas. And it was like, who knows? Maybe from there it could turn into planting grass. And from there it could turn into planting flowers. From there it could turn into planting gardens. Mm -hmm. This is great. Can I see this? Mm -hmm. Word, I'll take this. Can I give you a You took the that science one. one you took the science <laughs> one too. <laughs> my books. Yo, these is, yo, these books get nabbed for real. No, I they, I, yeah, I definitely people need breaking science. Cars, they, yo, yo, to get these books. I'm not lying. This, well, it's a thing. Um, can I give you a little jewel? Like something that's real simple. Do you know you can use a food stamp card to go into a place like Walmart that sells fruit trees and buy a fruit tree and plant it in whatever patch of grass you got in your property right now and be growing fruit within two years? Hmm. Wow. Off wow. a food stamp card. You know Damn. what I mean? Fifteen dollar plant. So, you know, it's just like, people just don't know. Just don't and if you don't know, it's like, you, you kind of like, you a victim. Knowledge because you, power. Yeah, you know, they said that people will perish for lack of knowledge. Yeah. So we just wanted to make sure it was available. Okay. So, how are you available? How do people contact you? How do you, you know what I mean? I've been in shadows for a long time. You know, I've been away for a minute. Um, just getting my life together, because I didn't want to be... You know, if, you, if you're too visible and you got a bunch of defects, then everybody following you going to reproduce your defects. Hmm. They're going to act like you, talk like you, and if you got a bunch of bitterness to you, they're going to be bitter just like you. Hmm. So I wanted to make sure that what we was giving people was love and education and healing. So these books been out for like, what, since 10 years now? Hmm. 10 years since the one with me and you put out 10 years ago. Um, and so the website's always been the same. They could go on Amazon. They can go into any well, black bookstore, Supreme Design Online, uh, or SupremeUnderstanding.com. Um, but I really want people to go into black bookstores. Find a black-owned bookstore in your city. We got a listing on our site on SupremeDesignOnline.com where they can find whoever's selling black books in their city and whoever's a black-owned bookseller. Because um, I remember them days when there was bookstores to go to. Right. You know what I mean? When that was a cool thing to do. Yeah. Or when there was people in the corner selling books and they could talk to you about what's in every book. But right. right. people, you know, we, we got to bring that back. Yeah. That'll change things. I want to do that. Do you do like IG, Twitter, and all that type of shit? Yeah, you can look me up at Supreme Understanding. Um, and what we want to push people to do is, like I always say, like I'm, I'm, I'm an educator, so I came up with a curriculum. But really the best teachers are the people to take these books and they be in prisons. I'm talking about teaching, like changing lives. Mm. Lil Boosie was giving out, not even giving the book out. Lil Boosie was in, in a prison when he was locked up. We had sent him some of our books. People was writing us saying he won't let us keep the book. He keep on asking for it back. Mm. But he was teaching because he was letting he was lending it out and then he'd get it back. And somebody be like, yo, I gotta get get the book. Mm. Um so I really so. like, yeah, I wanna push people being able to sell books and have the books on their own and to be representatives of, of a way of thinking, a way of way of living, like a righteous way that we can all I mean, you know, who is it that can't agree on being righteous? Let me know. Like I wanna know you're not righteous, tell me. Okay, let me know up front that you're not righteous. I wanna know that you're not. But other than that, we righteous family. So if somebody wants to write a book, they what they go to Supreme Design online. They, they can hit us up or they can go to provenpublishing.com. That's the website that's just for us helping people get their books published. Say so that again. Provenpublishing.com. Provenpublishing.com. Proven formulas. We tested them out. We made sure they work. This this the formulas that we used to put all this out. Right. Yeah, so we test any I'm not gonna give it to nobody unless I made sure it worked. Right. You know, I gotta test it out. So we wanted to give people life, because right now the people, you know, we're yeah. going through it. We're going through it. Well, yeah. We definitely appreciate you bringing the books up here and, you know what I mean? Yeah, and shout out to having them up. I, I and, love and, it. And, and sharing your knowledge. Um, yeah, I guess you could just stay with us, you know, because we, we, we're going to talk about some just other things going on in the news and shit right now. Let's get to it. Um, so one of the things that we were speaking oh, yeah. on. I got to put my glasses on. Oh, shout out to David Ford. Check out what I did. Remember those beautiful shades that uh, that we were gifted last week? Well, mm. I turned mine into my prescription glasses because oh, in real shit. life, I need glasses. And oh, um, I never wear my glasses because I just can never find any cool ones. But thanks to David Ford. Mm. And- right. Yeah, yeah. FC eyewear. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I can, be, I can be cool when I pull out my reading glasses on the guy. Okay. okay. Thank you, David. So, so, something that came across my feed and then, you know, I get into my bag on Twitter. Um, I came across a tweet 
that said, uh, Purdue Pharma told CNN it is involved in settlement talks with regards to a trial in Ohio where over 2,000 municipalities and Native American governments are suing the company. And then I came across uh, another tweet that said, um, hang on, let me find it, let me find it, let me find it. Well, basically, the, the premise of the other tweet was the amount. That's, that's what really got me, like, Twitter finger and like, right. oh. So, basically, Big Pharma is uh, set to pay out 10 to $12 billion in, um, in settlement for, um, to the state of Ohio and over 2,000 municipalities within Ohio for their um, opioid epidemic. So... I got on Twitter and I said, well, who should black people sue yeah. for the crack era? Well, hang Word. on. We, we, we go, we're moving a little fast. Are we? Yes, because oh, we also they, they also, in Oklahoma, okay. $572 million okay. Okay. was just awarded to these motherfuckers mm. for their opioid fucking shit in that particular state. Okay. Again, what's the fucking... Um, you know, the, 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 the line here, the common denominator here is that these are like really white places. Yeah. You know right. I mean? Ohio, Oklahoma, yeah, not yeah. that black people don't live there, but when we talk about the opioid crisis, we know who's being affected by that. Right. Oh, well, well our, our former governor, Christy, uh, Chris Christie, he was, you know, he was adamant about fighting the opioid addiction and, and uh, you know, imposing harsh sentences right. for, you know, opioid sellers and, and things of that nature or people, you know, misusing. So in a way, this is like drugs. their reparations for... <laughs> The epidemic that was thrust upon their community. Segue now okay. into what you oh, were I'm sorry. I don't want to segue. I'm the, sorry. I the mean, crack. I, well, see, I, I, that's basically that's how I reacted on Twitter. I saw the first tweet like, oh, so who should black people sue for, you know, right. the crack era? And um, I don't want to spoil the Dave Chappelle show if you the new stand up if you haven't seen it by now you should have seen it by now shame on you if you haven't but um you know he said something which i thought about too like you know we didn't get we didn't get this we got just say no yep we got crack as whack yep you know we got three strike laws we got all of this you know all of this harsh treatment basically criminalized for being sick and being addicted to crack, and we saw we were we see, we saw all the destruction that it did within our community. So, and we know the culprits. See, they're able they yeah. trace their opioids to certain companies. Mm -hmm. So, the the one the company that we trace our shit to is the United States of America Government. Incorporated. Period. Right. Okay. Incorporated, because this is a fucking corporation make yes. no fucking mistake so about then, it so then i said hmm i wonder i wonder if that is something that could you know be in uh i, I guess added to the docket of the reparation argument and would you know would that possibly give us a, a better leg to stand on like look i mean granted we got all we got four legs at this See, point. i would feel like that's its own thing I wouldn't even try to attach that necessarily to a reparations. Like, because I feel like that is almost, it's part of the bigger. It, it, it is, no, it, it, it is its own thing in, you know, in regards to slavery and the, you know, and mm -hmm. the generational effects of it. But I'm thinking, like, Right now, in this moment, you know, we know, like, it's it's the worst kept secret now that the government flooded the urban areas with crack. Like, we know this now. Yeah. So I'm wondering if, and the only reason why I said that is because, you know, is that something that could just, because right now what they want to do is they, they keep dismissing the merit of the reparation argument. Like, that was 400 years ago. Like, y'all oh. good. Y'all, you know, that ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Like, okay, well... Here's something that has that affects 
living people today. Is this something that we could possibly demand a reparation for? The, I mean, hey, or a law, maybe, okay, remove the word reparation. Did they pay people? Did they pay them to ski syphilis victims? They just apologized. Did Thank they pay? Money. I don't know if they paid them. Did they give him any money? They didn't just Remember, I think Clinton right, apologized to so the last survivor. Right they didn't they just no said money. sorry. But so why give these these fucking you know white? fentanyl babies white because they're these white fucking yeah, you know because they're babies. white white uh, entitlement because they're the sons of oh, the politicians. What's the shit? Um, That's they're the white the in the what's program. The like the, uh, the 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 Percocets and the. And the Zans and the Xanax yeah, and what's the, the oh the oxycodone that's the one yeah that's one of the ones that's the fucking mm -hmm. oh man like all of that type of shit is what they fuck with um, don't forget that you can buy the prescription drug like fentanyl right and use it to cut everything else fentanyl they're using fentanyl to cut coke they use it right. to cut dope right mm -hmm. now that's why you're seeing so many people ODing right now right. even if they tell you about Prince right what they say Prince OD off of they say he OD'd off of pills cut with fentanyl. Whatever. That's what they say. Say, say, right. That's what they say. Right, right. right. You know what I mean? But that means somebody could have swapped out what he had. He might have been thinking he's taking a sleeping pill. He might have been thinking he's taking some melatonin. Next thing you know, he out for the night night. Because that's literally the level of game that they playing with us right now. So you seen the thing it had they saying we got fentanyl in it now. And that's crazy. That's like, crazy. Like, they, they trying to make a zombie movie in real life. Cause if y'all ever seen how people act on the own there, they be looking like zombies. Like yeah. like CC to do some shit like that, right? To actually put like they saying they find it coke or heroin and all this in weed, like that's just straight devious. Like like <laughs> like you're not even making money. Like like on the business side of that, you're losing money if yeah. you do that. I you say know that. Right? I say this. Not say because you're not me. selling the weed for any more. Here's the thing, I think they is making money, right? Like, for example, McDonald's. How can they afford to sell you all this for a dollar, right? Because they in business they're with really, the medical industry. That too. Right. And they're, and they're a real paid, estate company. They get paid right. the other way. So right? that means that's what I'm, you get paid in a different way. That's yeah, what I'm you saying. you get paid on like, all the sick fat people. Right, right. Everything is Sometimes together. Sometimes it's not about, um, it's not about, the money side of it's it. It's not like about the advance. Sometimes it's not about the cash. It's right. about the equity. There you go. It's the deeper so, things happen. So I was watching some shit, right? And it, this was actually a white dude who was talking about this. And he was like, he said, yo, why do you think porn is free? Mm. He said, porn is free because, first of all, like a lot of sex and all that will help to lower your vibration. Right. And, and, and basically stop you from right. being the best that you can be, right? Even boxers, you're not supposed right. to fight or two weeks fuck before yeah, fighting, yeah. all this type of shit, right? So they're like, yo, porn, but porn is free. You know, all the ads on there, some rinky-dink ads. They can't possibly be making a lot of money from that. So where, what is it about then? Mm. He's like, what is it about? Because they, it's not about making money, per se, from that. You know what I mean? You ever look at these fucking porn sites? Never. Of course. Ah, <laughs> what the fuck? I do. What are these things? Well, listen. I'm, you know, I'm vibrating low. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to drag myself and do some research. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all research. For six hours at a time. It's all research. Porn hub. Okay, trying to I, got, I, got a, I got a funny it's porn. It's all research. I got a funny porn story. <laughs> okay, so we need the, to hear this. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 it's a real short it's a real short story. It's a real short story. So the the cat You gonna make that man feel bad. I'll quit I'll quit. Never mind, never mind. Get it? Never mind. Short story. Never mind. Never mind. Nope, that's all. Okay, look. So there's a category called Bukaki, right? Bukaki, yeah. Yeah, we know that. No, wait, wait. That's, wait, wait. Just recently, and I mean recently, Double K. like in the past month, I learned that that was how you pronounce it. All of this time, I thought it was pronounced butt cake. <laughs> thought it was butt on that butt cake all over the place. For you to be saying it any kind of like Japanese, like I was watching a point and he did the butt 
cake. I, li- <laughs> I literally, I don't want to do cake. I literally <laughs> just learned yeah, in the most of August of 2019. Wow. <laughs> the, the correct way. Get up on your porn terminology. What it takes See, to I'm, get more often. I'm out the loop, man. I don't know, man. No, you ain't be in the loop. Think. You know that, right? When they go, no way. Yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, the niggas yeah. got that much yeah, damn so they having like, no way. Hey, hey. They be decorating like, birthday cakes, man. What? I got some homie. Uh, I got I got some homie porn stars. They actually have what they call fluffers, like you know, because because it's really like acting and Nick, shit, bro. like. Like you gotta cut. It's not Nick. Bring you gotta, it's not Nick. You gotta, you gotta set up the camera. No, that's not his dick. That's the guy. There's Nick. actually people. These bukkakis. There's actually women called fluffers that, like, you know, like I guess, like he told me when it's sometimes when they when they have like gang bang scenes right, and right. stuff, like while they're setting up camera and changing the camera angles, there'll be chicks that'll just keep coming, right, sucking them off the hard and yeah, shit. Fluffers. And it's like and action, and then they gotta. You never know, heard of a fluffer? They get right back into the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, 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 like you know, know disrespecting somebody. Like, psh. it's basically the equivalent. It was a fluffer on it's, it's the equivalent of the person out. that comes in and like, on 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 grabs on the tennis ball. Right, right, right. They just grab the balls on a T-rated That's fucking not, porn. Like, it wasn't. But even like, they have. Like, hey, but the, like, the tricks that they have, they have tricks where it can't be. Oh, come on, man. It's anyway, like, that was my little short story. Okay, I'm done. Off next buck topic. Cake. Buck cake. So, so crack reparations. <laughs> From buck cake. Buck crack <laughs> reparations. Buck cake to crack. Okay. I buck, thought I thought it was crack. I thought it was going to be buck cake. Think about it like like we all know um, the story of you know Oliver North and, and, mm-hmm. and Ronald Reagan and, yep. and the. Iran Contra and the Freeway Ricky the, Ross, the, 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 yeah. the guns for drugs and the, the the pipeline that was specifically mm-hmm. created by the CIA. Mm-hmm. You know, the American government right, basically in Oakland, would be the Johnson and Johnson would be the plaintiff in this action. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't there be a way? Well, no, to, they'd be the defendant. We're the plaintiffs. Oh, correct. They're the, yeah. the, the right on, brother. I don't know why, but you look kind of like Oprah with them glasses on. <laughs> oh shit! No, but I, in a good way. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 I've I've heard that's sophisticated. Uh, yeah, like you look like like money, like 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 yeah. Oprah money. I could see, smart, I could see smart, that. Oprah money. money. That Alex, Oprah money, boy. Alex yeah. Martin. Yeah. Like I'm sitting, motherfuckers on that's the couch. That's a very Oprah shade of lipstick. But, but you look like an Oprah that that like. The Weight Watchers is working. Kind of, you know? <laughs> I got daughters. I'm just I, saying. I would like Oprah to smoke weed. <laughs> yeah, like like a little cooler Oprah, and okay. you know, yeah. a little rough around the edges Oprah. <laughs> Oprah that'll fight you. You know, the kind of Oprah, Oprah that'll fight you. Get fried you know chicken I, 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 I think you know what the episodes. Jim and I The episodes, the past episodes where I have pulled out my glasses once or twice, I've seen that in the comments, like uh, giving me Oprah vibes. Yeah, yeah I'm telling you, I just look so kind of. Okay. Oh. <laughs> is this the home network? I love Brad. Are you doing home now? Free, free corn. Under your seat. Free chicken wings. An opioid for you and a chicken wing for you. And bukkake. And a butt cake for you. A butt cake. A butt cake. Oh, man. Okay. Um... So yeah, so so the American government would be the defendants in that action, and we the the, the wait, you know those <laughs> <laughs> you know segways you know people of um, you know this is serious of America. This is serious legal matter. Okay, come on, for real. Yeah. This is a global case. That we we got to get back on track. Like, like, like we got to look into this. Like like the wind is no, I'm dead ass, right, folks. Always. Uh, uh, honor their treaties. First of all, law is law is is set by precedent. Okay. So now, when one precedent happens, this is going to create a tumble of a bunch of states. Are I would start. say we're better yep. going after Krispy Kreme because mm. Krispy Kreme paid eleven million dollars in reparations to the Jewish community. You can look this up. Wow. Damn. Wow. I say. Well, I know they have clogged a lot of hearts in the black fucking community. Hell yeah. Them they, Krispy Kreme Hell yeah. They're at least passing dope. Oh, oh, the light is on. The light is on. You ever see that shit? Exciting shit. I'm afraid.
The light is on. If y'all don't know, that means they got some fresh. Oh. They just need some when fresh. When they're heating it up. If you go buy a Krispy Kreme and the light is on, that means they got some fresh straight out the oven. He lives oven. in Atlanta, so you, you haven't been spoiled Are by the Krispy Kreme experience. better than Cinnabon? I don't yeah. think they probably are. Yeah, Krispy Kreme's yeah. better than Cinnabon? Yeah. 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 But I don't want Krispy to be that Popeye's it started on this package. Okay. Figure out what you owe. So you anyway, see, still love you. listen, we got to look into this because, like I said, precedence with law is, you know, Somehow we'll probably find out, oh, the government is exempt because it's the government or some shit like that. But maybe not. You know what I mean? Maybe they can be sued. I'm, I'm looking into it. You know? I'm already looking into you it. You've got to take it to the UN or some shit like that. Yeah. Like how Malcolm was moving. Johnny Cochran was dose last project. He's going to go reparations against the U.S. Then he just died. Because hmm. mm. he never lost cases. Mm. <laughs> he always never. won. He always won. <laughs> never lost cases. He never did. Things that make it all kill him because he's going he nah, to win this dead. case. Mm. All of a sudden dead. Because well, he's going to take them to court. The U.S. We're about to wrap up for, the, for this week. Um, Supreme, appreciate you coming by. Yeah, great. Once again, tell the people the website, where to get the books, if, if we got any writers out there. I just want to say one thing. What's that thing? Y'all are doing something amazing for the culture. Y'all know that? Like, for real. Like... Because, you know, it's nice to be smart and funny at the same time. And motherfuckers think you can't be funny. Mm. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers are really dumb and funny for the most part out here. Right. You know what I mean? This Being able true. to be smart and funny, that's some healthy shit. You know, and, you know, you raising up a whole generation of people. It's like, oh, shit. And if you could make that cool. Yeah. If that's, you could make that cool. Hell yeah. yeah. That's how you win. Yeah, because you ain't black be people, idiot. you know what I mean? We gravitate to what's cool. You know what I mean? Right. We, um, no, we we invent what's cool. That's right, right. Holla. So again, your websites? SupremeUnderstanding.com, mm -hmm. SupremeDesignOnline.com, and Proven Publishing if you want to get a book published. Yeah. And you can start your own bookstore with us. We're putting bookstores back in communities everywhere. And it can start with you just pulling books out your trunk and going into the barbershop beauty salon. You wow. Know, bringing knowledge back, like back in the old days. Sell some cut fruit with it, you know, because we're teaching how to hustle and win. Make some money. You know, nice. self employment, self empowerment. <laughs> yeah, well, that's beautiful. Dope. All right. Well, yeah. Another great one. Another yes. great one. We thank y'all for joining us. Yeah. Once again, for the Not a Mean God cast and Lord Jamal. I'm Digger Digger. God free. Hey. Hey.